Have you been caring for your farm, barn, and fey animals and wondering if there's more to it? Let the Cozy Guide show you not only the basics of animal care, but also breeding to get adorable babies or new colored animals. Hello everyone, this is Faven and you are watching my Animal Care and Breeding Guide for Fay Farm. We will be going over the basics, selling animals, enclosures and upgrades, and breeding for fancy colors. If you're looking for something specific, as always, check the chapters below. We're going to start off in the same way the game starts us off, and that's with the animal coop. You'll be able to house up to six chikus and cottontails within the animal coop, both of which can be bought from Erline for 200 florins per animal. Once you have your animals living on your farm, you'll be able to care for them in different ways. First off, you will want to ensure to feed them plant fibers every day. Thankfully, plant fibers are easy enough to find around Dezoria, but you're also able to craft a wild grass patch from five silt, five rough citrine, and three bug juice, which can be cut down to obtain plant fibers. At first, the feeding trough will only be able to hold one animal feed per animal at a time. However, with 1,500 florins, you can purchase an upgrade from Erline, which lets you hold up to 10 days worth of food each. You can also pat your chikus and pet and brush your cottontails while also giving them some time getting fresh air to increase their happiness, which is really important for later sections of animal care. To let your animals enjoy some fresh air, just ring the bell if they're not already outside and they will come running unless it's cold or rainy. Once your baby animal grows up into an adult, the chikus will drop eggs and the cottontails will drop cotton which can be collected from inside the animal coop. The happier they are, the more you'll get from collecting. If you've watched this or any of my other guides and you're interested in keeping up to date with all the future guides, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Next, we will move on to the second farm area, which is east of your first farm that houses the barn. Within the barn, you can have up to six mamus and woolly horns in total, both of which can be bought from Jeremiah for 300 florins each. As with the animal cube, you'll also be able to care for and interact with these animals too. Starting out, you want to make sure to feed them fodder each day. This is something you can find all throughout Azoria, but you can also craft the fodder grass patch from five mulch, five rough peridots, and three shell bits, which can be cut down to obtain fodder. If you talk to Jeremiah, he will offer to upgrade the trough for 1,500 florins so that it can hold 10 days worth of food, making it that much easier on you to ensure they're fed. You can also pet and brush your mamus and their woolly horns while also giving them some fresh air to increase their happiness. Just like before, if your animals have not come outside on their own on a non-rainy or non-snowy day, you can ring the bell three times to get all six outside. After a baby mamu grows up into an adult, can be magically milked and woolly horns can be sheared for wool. The happier they are, the more you can collect from them. Moving on to our last area that allows you to keep animals, we have the fey pen in the fey farm. Inside the fey pen, you can have up to a combination of six lunins and spriggans, both of which can be bought from Raglor for 400 florins each. Just like with the other areas, you'll get to interact with and feed these magical creatures. They both eat clover feed, which can be found all over the Fey Realm, but you can craft the clover grass patch from five shade deli, five rough amethyst, and three nectar, which can be cut down to collect clover fodder. Speaking with Raglor again, you'll be able to upgrade the feeding trough from holding one clover fodder to ten clover fodder for the cost of 1,500 florins. Your lunins and spriggans can both be pet to increase their happiness as well as being let outside for fresh air. Each time you ring the bell, two of the animals will come outside at a time if they haven't already, so with three rings of the bell, all of them are set to enjoy the wonders of the Fey Farm. After they've grown up, you can collect silk threads from the lunin and spriggan leaf from the spriggans, which will be sitting on top of their beds inside the Fey Pen. The happier they are, you guessed it, the more you'll get from collecting. After all of this happiness talk, you may be wondering just how to do that exactly. To do so, you'll want to braid your animals with their respective animal breeders. For chikus and cottontails, you'll visit Loretta. For mamus and woolly horns, you'll visit Patel. And for lunins and spriggans, you'll talk to Tamel. Each animal starts out with three bars of happiness, which you can see when you interact with them. After each successful breeding, their happiness levels increase by one until you've hit the maximum of six happiness levels. You will want to have the animal you want to breed follow you from their enclosure to their respective NPCs, which you'll talk to. Here you can add a breeding charm or a heart pillow, and then you'll leave them there for a few days. When the new baby is ready to be picked up, you'll head over to where you left their parent and have them follow you to their enclosure, where you'll interact with the ledger and register them. Each of the NPCs I mentioned also sells an item called the heart pillow for 250 florins and one silk, which, when used to breed a new baby animal, 
has a chance to increase their happiness by one additional level. While the item itself is fairly cheap on florins and silk, it's not something I tend to use since it's a chance, and I much prefer to go where the happiness is guaranteed. As the animal's happiness increases, so does the material yield for whatever you can get from each of them, which, when it max happiness, drops one to five items each time. Faith Farm is known for its level of customization with furniture and flower colors, but did you know you can also get differently colored animals on your farms? Loretta, Patel, and Tamil sell charms, and by using these when breeding for a new baby animal, you have a chance, listen again, a chance, to get a colored animal. Before breeding to get a uniquely colored animal, you want to ensure their happiness is the highest it can be while ensuring each interaction with them is completed too. Once you've made sure they're fed, had fresh air, pat and brushed, you'll take them to their respective critter breeders and add a charm. Just a reminder, for chikus and cottontails, you'll visit Loretta. For mammoths and woolly horns, you'll visit Patel. And for lunins and spriggans, you'll visit Tamale. In order to buy the charms, you'll need 250 florins and a specific additional item, which we'll go over right now. Patel and Loretta sell the following charms. Black charm, one polished obsidian. White charm, one polished diamond. Brown charm, one polished topaz. Yellow charm, one polished citrine. Tan charm, one copper ingot. Gray charm, one silver ingot. And an orange charm, one polished topaz. Tamail sells the following. Azure charm, three polished sapphires. Emerald charm, three polished emeralds. Lime charm, three polished peridots. Pink charm, three polished rose quartz. Teal charm, three polished aquamarines. Purple charm, three polished amethysts. And the red charm, three polished rubies. One tip before we go. There are other ways to increase material yields, such as with different stat food. You'll look for any food, such as this one, that says it can increase bountiful harvest, which gives an increased chance to get bonus items when harvesting from animals. The best food for this is baked mac and cheese, which gives plus 10. But there are other foods you can use as well. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten yourself a colored animal or which one you're working towards for your farm. I know I'm trying to get a bunch of teal animals myself. If you've made it to the end of the video, thanks for sticking around and watching my animal care and breeding guide for Fay Farm. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do hit the like button below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing and I'll see you in Azoria.